NASA's Deep Space Observatory Telescope is providing a fresh perspective on the cosmos. The James Webb Space Telescope, which is marketed as the replacement for the venerable Hubble Space Telescope, is also setting new standards for scientific enthusiasm. The James Webb Space Telescope is looking out into space to learn more about galaxies, planets and other celestial bodies. The JWST is a pioneer in scientific research, producing amazing revelations about galaxies, planets, stars and a variety of other fascinating cosmic phenomena. What scientific advances has the JWST made and what about its space discovery is terrifying? Let's find out. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, was the result of years of labour by NASA scientists and engineers when it was launched on Christmas Day in 2021. The several steps of the telescope's deployment in the months that followed also went off without a hitch. Webb revealed its amazing initial photographs in mid-July of the previous year. We will be able to observe practically every aspect of our universe including the farthest galaxies in greater detail, with the aid of the infrared telescope giving us a window into the past. The Hubble Space Telescope observed a star vanish in 1993. It only turned dark for a short period of time. It didn't go supernova or naturally die. The occurrence wasn't widely publicized because the star was already too dim to be seen with the unaided eye and ground-based telescopes had difficulty distinguishing it from nearby stars. The most likely explanation at the time, according to astronomers, was that a cloud of interstellar dust had migrated between Earth and the star, blocking our ability to see it. After being acknowledged, it was largely forgotten. Two additional stars disappeared in 2007, this was far more worrisome given the circumstances of the event. The two stars in issue were partners in an orbital binary system that was rather near to one another. They would have both appeared to vanish at the same time or almost at the same time if another cloud of interstellar dust had been the cause. Instead, over the course of a few minutes, separated by an eight-hour gap, both stars started to dim separately. Also, this binary system was 15 light-years closer to Earth than the star that had vanished in 1993. Two more stars that had gone out in the years 1995 and 2002 were found after meticulously examining millions of Hubble pictures. Only a few light-years separated them from one another. They were all located in the same stellar neighborhood. The only inference that could be made by scientists that these stars were being shrouded or destroyed by an unknown force that was moving close to the speed of light. Regrettably, Hubble lacks the sensitivity to provide us with any additional information. Within days of the telescope going online in late June 2022, scientists started finding thousands of new galaxies that were older and farther away than any previously known ones. Some of these galaxies may have been discovered more than 150 million years prior to Hubble's oldest discovery. Furthermore, the telescope is able to gather enough light from celestial objects such as exoplanets and forming stars to show their composition and their trajectories across space. This information is already beginning to shed light on the atmospheric makeup of planets hundreds of light years away from Earth providing clues as to whether or not they would be capable of supporting life as we know it. There was eventually enough ambient EM spectrum radiation left to try a mass spectrometer reading when researchers focused the telescope on the binary system that had disappeared in 2007, which was the closest location at which this phenomenon had yet to be recorded. If you're unaware, Mass spectrometry is a really helpful procedure that allows us to get a ton of useful information about an object, including its temperature, speed and direction of motion and chemical composition by analyzing the patterns of light wavelengths that the object emits or reflects. But the readings they obtained from the double stars were illogical. They were extremely cold to begin with, almost as cold as the interstellar medium around them. These stars had either been fully extinguished by whatever had occurred to them, 
or had somehow been prevented from emitting light. The mass spectrometer's emission lines, though, were what was most perplexing. There were a few recognizable elements found, such as magnesium, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen and hydrogen, but they were few and far between. In fact, the majority of the readings appeared to challenge our understanding of the physics of light, matter and chemistry, because they did not match any known chemical elements. This enormous star-spanning structure was mostly made of substances for which we had no names and which may not even have matter in the conventional sense. Speculation was widespread. Such a thing could not possibly occur naturally. So what was this object discovered for and why was it being constructed? The dominant theory was that researchers were examining a collection of Dyson shells enormous solar collectors designed to totally enclose stars in order to absorb all of their energy production. An intergalactic civilization had been thought to benefit from such an idea as early as the 20th century. Since then, the concept has appeared in several works of science fiction. In fact, one of the early indications of intelligent extraterrestrial life that we might one day find was the building of these enormous structures. But the idea still couldn't account for everything. First off, the stars were covering the sky at an impossibly fast rate. Even the most fantastical scientific and science fiction theories could not have predicted the ability to build a Dyson shell from scratch in a couple of minutes. Then there were the enigmatic filaments that linked the shells over a light year long distance. Nobody knew how these could be constructed or what use they may have. On the other hand, one of the most recognizable views from the Hubble Space Telescope has long been the Pillars of Creation in the Eagle Nebula. The spectacular clouds surrounding the structure, however, were not visible to the telescope, which only detects visible light. It has now been captured by Webb's infrared imaging in the form of many protostars. These clusters of dust and gas, each many times larger than our solar system, appear as tiny red dots against the smoky background of the pillars. They are stars in the process of birth. Several colors were used to depict the largely invisible infrared wavelengths in the photograph. The only viewable portions of the image are blue. To us, they would appear red. The wavelengths of the hues also rise with the radiation, with red portions of the image, such as protostars, generating radiation at a wavelength that is around six times that of the human eye. Pictures like this one could aid in our understanding of how stars, including our Sun, are formed, in addition to showcasing Webb's capabilities as an infrared telescope. Astronomers made the first exoplanet discoveries in the 1990s. As of today, more than 3,000 extrasolar planets are known to exist. Yet only about a dozen of these have been directly imaged. The majority of exoplanets are so far away that they can only be seen when their host star's light dims as the planet passes in front of it. The Webb telescope, however, may alter that. It took its first direct picture of an exoplanet in September of last year. This is a pivotal time for astronomy in general, as well as Webb specifically. The planet was identified in 2017 and given the name HIP 65426b. This planet is the farthest from its host star of any planet in our solar system, at a distance that is 100 times greater than that between our Sun and the Earth. In contrast, Pluto is only 40 times that Sun-Earth distance from our Sun. It is a massive gas giant that is also incredibly big, about 12 times the size of Jupiter. Scientists utilized the telescope's coronagraphs, which excluded the light from the central star, together with two of Webb's cameras, a number of filters, and other equipment to view it. The planet has a number of characteristics that make it simpler to see, in addition to having outstanding sensitivity in the telescope. The Hubble Space Telescope and Webb photos have been combined to create a stunning composite image that highlights part of the galaxy's optical and infrared views. The composite image was produced with the assistance of ESA researchers as part of the FANGS International Project, 
which uses the Hubble, Webb, and several ground-based telescopes to take infrared photographs of 19 neighboring star-forming galaxies. Webb was designed to view the universe's furthest galaxies, and in mid-December of last year, researchers announced that they had successfully done so. The four galaxies that have been formally observed by the telescope are also the oldest. Webb spotted the galaxies when they first emerged some 13.4 billion years ago, when the universe was only 350 million years old, or roughly 2% of its present age. The four galaxies were thought to be extremely old, similar to the hundreds of other galaxies discovered by Webb. Researchers determined the galaxy's ages as part of the JWST Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey JADES, using information from the telescope's near-infrared spectrograph to determine how quickly the galaxies were moving away from it. The lengthening of light waves caused by the expansion of the universe is measured by the redshift of galaxies. The highest redshift ever measured was 13.2 for them. These galaxies are much more numerous than anything we could have predicted discovering prior to JWST. For the first time, we can now locate such remote galaxies with JWST and afterward verify spectroscopically that they truly are that far away. The most investigated planet outside of our solar system is currently one orbiting a star in the constellation Virgo, thanks to Webb. WASP-39b is the name of the planet, and it is 700 light-years away from Earth. It is a boiling gas giant the size of Saturn that revolves around its host star at an outrageously near distance, about eight times closer than Mercury is to the Sun. Saturn revolves around its host star at an outrageously near distance, about eight times closer than Mercury is to the Sun. Though the planet's thick atmosphere is dominated by thick clouds containing sulfur and silicates, including sulfur dioxide, scientists were able to identify carbon dioxide in its atmosphere using Webb's main camera and two of its spectrographs. This is the first time the gas has ever been found in an exoplanet's atmosphere. The knowledge gained about the planet's atmosphere also allowed researchers to draw conclusions about some aspects of its genesis and history. The planet is thought to have formed much farther from its star than it is now as a result of the collision of smaller planetesimals, such as evidenced by the fact that it has more oxygen than carbon in its atmosphere. These first findings are a sign of far more astonishing scientific discoveries to come with JWST. NASA made the Webb Telescope's first spectrum of an exoplanet's atmosphere available as part of its initial release of photographs and data from the planet WASP-96b. In order to create a spectrum, a sort of barcode of the wavelengths of light absorbed by the planet's atmospheres, spectrographs, Webb studied the light of the planet's star as it passed in front of the planet and was filtered through the planet's atmosphere. The planet's water vapor clouds and hazy skies were visible in the spectrum. Given that researchers had believed the planet had no clouds at all, this is unusual. Researchers believed until recently that the planet's high sodium signal in the atmosphere indicated that it had unusually clear skies. As a result of the results' apparent contradictions, researchers are re-examining both Webb and earlier data in an effort to find a solution. There is almost no doubt that the distant planet's evidence of water disproves the possibility of life there. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.